Kaido, you want to go ahead and tell us about your your character here? Yes. I am playing Alan Cross, whose hero name is Tyrannus. Excellent. Uh, tell me about Tyrannus. Well, Tyrannus is a youth of unspecified age um, who is male. Um, they are of Irish descent. They have uh, pale skin. Um, their skin is marked by electricity. Uh, looks like lightning struck them multiple times. You can often find them wearing when they're wearing casual clothes. When they're wearing their out of when they're out of their hero uniform, uh, they are typically wearing some sort of long sleeves, maybe a pair of blue jeans, a nice pair of sneakers. Uh, but they tend to always, even in the dead of summer, wear long sleeves to hide the uh, marks on their skin where the electricity is poured through. The marks run all the way up their neck and into their face, but they do try to hide that with a hoodie if possible as well. Uh, when in costume, um, they typically wear a standard saber uniform, a saber-issued uniform, but it's been changed it looks like it's kind of been scorched a little bit by their powers which are the ability to control electricity in the form of think raiden from mortal Kombat or static shock from uh from dc comics or electro in that regard Excellent. Uh, what pronouns does Tyrannus use? Tyrannus uses he, him. Cool. How did Tyrannus get his powers? Tell me about his backstory. Well, Tyrannus um, first exhibited their powers. They were actually playing a game of flag football. Uh, and they were in middle school when this happened. It was raining during this game, and basically, it looked like Tyrannus, it looked like Alan was struck by lightning. But what happened, actually, is they had built up enough of a charge of electricity in their feet and had emitted it themselves from their body. Awesome. Talk to me about that event. I know that event was, we talked about the fact that that event was, like, at school and very public. Talk to me about, like, what else happened because of that event. Well, when the field doctor, the team doctor, was trying to pull Alan off the field, another burst of lightning burst forth from Alan and struck the doctor. We are unaware of the doctor's current well-being since this has been um, a few years. But the doctor was hurt and uh, he was pulled off the field as far as everyone is aware or was aware, that was just a freak lightning strike. Um, and at the time, no one was aware that it was originating from Alan. Awesome. In backstory questions, who outside the team helps you control your powers? Um, the character of Dr. Rankin. He is a saber operative and a doctor. One of their head... Uh, higher up doctors cool uh how do you know dr rankin how like what is your relationship like um very fatherly i would ass i would guess um dr dr rankin has been the one has been the uh lead assistant or lead doctor watching over um and examining and keeping track of alan um after saber took him in uh he no longer lives with his parents due to this power and saber has been training him and uh basically dr rankin has been the go-between between saber officially and alan because of alan's young age after this major incident why do you continue to use your powers alan uses his powers to assist saber in completing their goals and why do you care about the team Saber has instructed Alan to keep an eye on the team, but Alan seems to find them very endearing as he's been watching them from afar. Awesome. Does Alan go to school? Yes, Alan is in the same math class as 
Amber and Max. <laughs> cool. That'll be a fun reveal later. All right. So because you are playing the Nova, which I don't think we said already, uh, you're playing the Nova. You get something called burn. Uh, for those of you who are listening, burn is essentially um, you like charge your powers and then get a certain number of hold to spend and then you get to use them. So you you start with four flares. So what are the four flares you're starting with? I am starting with a reality storm uh, where I channel a destructive burst of the powers. I spend one burn to directly engage a threat while using those powers, rolling freak instead of danger. Um, and of course, if I do, uh, if I hit, I will cause collateral, collateral damage, or if I use this, I will cause unwanted collateral damage unless I spend a second burn. Then I chose shielding, uh, which allows me to call up a fast protective shield to stop a danger. I spend one burn to defend someone else from an immediate threat, rolling freak instead of savior. I also chose Elemental Awareness, which allows me to spend one burn in Market Condition to open my mind up to the world around me with my powers. I can ask any one question about the world around me, and the GM must answer honestly. Then finally, I chose Overcharge, which allows me to channel the full capacity of my incredible powers to overcome an obstacle, reshape my environment, or extend my senses. I must spend 10 burn, or 2 burn, with this to take a 10 plus when I unleash my powers. Moon Harbor Heroes is produced by Anthony Sheets and T.P. Hugh, and edited by Anthony Sheets. Anthony can be found on Twitter at IcingNewYear or at IcingNewYear.com. T is the host of Incubator on Air, a new play podcast available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. They can be found at T. Playwright on Twitter or at TPHuth94 on Instagram. Cataclysm Crew is GM'd by T.P. Huth. Tyrannus is played by Kaido Kane. Kaido is a Twitch personality and loves their three mischievous cats. You can find them at the Versian on Twitter and as Kaido Kane on Twitch.tv. Our logo was designed by Beautiful Beasties. She can be found on Instagram at beastly.doodles or at patreon.com slash beautifulbeasties. The music of this issue is Mistake the Getaway by Kevin McLeod. A link to his website and the license will be in the show notes. If you want to get a hold of us, email us at moonharborheroes at gmail.com or find us on Twitter at moonharborcast. If you enjoyed this issue, please leave us a review on iTunes and tell a friend. Word of mouth and five-star reviews are really the best way for us to keep bringing these stories to more people. And uh, thanks for helping us save the world. We'll see you next issue.